Welcome back and as uh, break dancing awaits uh, to make its debut at the Olympic Games in, in Paris 2024, that's uh, from July to August uh, during the Olympic Games, we sit down, get down and get inside the lives and of course regimen of uh, top breakers uh, from Kenya who are on set today with me and I'll begin uh, the introduction uh, from uh, my far left and that's uh, Jijo George Kamenju yes. and of course the young one here is uh, Sean Mahasi and of course on my immediate right is Victor Onyango. They are all b-boys and they had to talk about their journey as in their quest to qualify for the Olympic, uh, Olympic Games. Is it over or is it still on? Let's find out from the three breakers in the building. Karibuni sana. Sante sana. Team Kenya. Yeah, man. And it's been quite a journey for the break dancing or b-boying or b-girling to yeah. be intro, uh, inducted or be accepted as an Olympic sport. And this was after the 2018 Youth Games in yes. Argentina. But before then, the sport has been on the street f since 70. So yes. How did you pick it up, Victor? <laughs> it's interesting. Thank you very much for having us. It's interesting that you have that much information <laughs> about breaking. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations. <laughs> I'm going to give you your flowers. Yeah. yeah, again, I'm talking like that because um, we are also grateful to uh, our 254 for hosting us. Uh, because um, I think our local media, for lack of a better word, have been very ignorant about breaking. It's yeah. good you know that it's been of the, on the streets. I'm um, uh, third generation breakers in the country, and uh, on the street we've actually been arrested. So it's not just the media, <laughs> but also the government in itself. So having it to the Olympics uh, is actually, for us, um, light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's fortunate and for unfortunate that uh, some of us will represent in different capacity, but it's on. Yeah. So there is hope for... Kenya and Africa at large. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Jijo, would yeah. you add on that? Yeah, I think uh, just to add on just a bit mm. is first of all to give you your props. You know, not a lot of people <laughs> know about breaking in this whoa, country. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and uh, many of the rooms that we've knocked, you know, they are hearing it for the first time. And uh, it's nice that you actually ha do have some information. I picked up breaking in 2012, just after I finished high school. Uh, I was unable to go to university because of fund, fun, uh, lacking funds and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so just in my community, there was a, a team dancing and they had some break dancers. Mm -hmm. And so this is how I eventually picked up breaking. Mm -hmm. And uh, over the years, you know, we've been able to, you know, uh, do a lot for breaking locally. Mm -hmm. You know, B-Boy Victor has been organizing Slam Dance Africa, mm -hmm. a competition which brings together the, the top break dancers around East Africa, mm -hmm. you know, for the last 10 years. I believe we're right, celebrating right. the 10th anniversary right. this year and then I represent an outfit called King of the Street mm -hmm. which has now been in existence for the last uh, uh, I think five years mm -hmm. This is after having been a competitive person for a long time. And mm -hmm. then I realized at some point, I also need to do something for the breaking community. Mm -hmm. And uh, the inclusion you know, in a, into the Olympics has been a big, a big boost to breaking, not just because of the visibility that has come with it, but also because now we are able to have, different, uh, have that conversation on a different level. Before mm -hmm. it was just in the street. Mm -hmm. Now we are able to have that conversation on a, different, uh, mm -hmm. uh, on a different level, and that is quite special. Yes. And of course, this uh, through the works of the World Dance Sports Federation, yes. who really done some fantastic job to have the sport and yes. also mm. IOC for accepting to have it into the sport in, yes. in the spirit of bring, involving more younger yeah. people. And younger people is here, yeah, you know, the future. Mahathir, Sean, how did you get break? I was in grade 2. 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 Mm. B-boy Victor kama tuneza kuja, uh -huh. haka tuambia Monday, tukuje tu train, hadi Friday, mm -hmm. alafu tunani, tunenda home, mm -hmm. alafu tunarudi tena, tena yo next, next week ten, mm -hmm. tunendela ku train, alafu tunaletua ma battle, mm -hmm. tunajuona tuna pali tumefika, mm -hmm. pali tume train. Uh -huh. Introduction yako labda kwa mtu anataka ku break. Mili tutai kitambo lakini lishindwa. Oli, oli, mtu anazaje doa kubreku, unajua? Unaanza tu uki nini. Unaanza tu uki anza ukifanyua mazezi ya kui. 
Aduh, tanda kushtuka kutoroka. Okay. Mi boy Victor, mi boy Victor. You ran like an organization in the hood that brought together the kids? Yeah, I'm from Kibera, born and brought up. But I got an opportunity to do dance movement therapy. So dance is my life. And right now I'm a co-director for an international NGO. It's called Inuka Cultural Center. It's based in Kibera, but then we work around areas um, around East Africa, uh -huh. uh, ghetto areas or other uh, vulnerable uh -huh. areas uh -huh. with youths that have been affected uh -huh. socially, abused, sexually, uh -huh. and a lot of yeah. social problems. Yeah. And uh, so, your organization that you run and whether it has fulfilled your dreams that you had yeah, and what yeah. would it be? Yes, yes. So, 10 years in the game, I think for me, um, I learned YouTube, I learned uh, breaking from YouTube. Mm -hmm. And so, what I wanted to do is bridge a gap. So, when I realized that my routine was in shows, performances mm -hmm. every now and then, I mm -hmm. told myself, what do I want to do next? Mm -hmm. um, as you can tell, I'm growing old. <laughs> so, <laughs> I said, okay, so I want to provide something for the young people yeah. in the slums that I didn't have. Mm -hmm. And so, that's how I started that organization. And so, we've been able to also, I've been looking at the international um, competitions that we've gone to. Mm -hmm. And also be being part of, and I wanted to bring that to Africa as well. So mm -hmm. that's how I initiated Slam Dance mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jijo, maybe you can tell me about how glad were you guys uh, to be in Team Kenya, yeah. team that's a pioneer yeah. of sorts, you yeah. know, sport that's making its Olympic debut. Yeah. You also the people who are knocking on the doors for the competition from the country, the yeah. first people, right? Yeah. How glad were you that you? in Team Kenya seeking the Olympic qualification and oh, you can use that opportunity as well to tell us the uh, pathway, the qualification yeah. pathway and yeah. how far we are, yeah. maybe. Well, uh, I, I will say it's a, it's a bitter test, it's a bittersweet yeah. sort of thing mm -hmm. because first of all, you know, it's, a, it's an incredible moment, it's a historic moment mm -hmm. for breaking to be able to debut at the Paris Games. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, from an African perspective, from a Kenyan perspective, it leaves a very bad test in the mouth because first of all, our governments have left us out to dry. They have, uh, you know, you figure your things out. You know, that is because, first of all, they did not know about the existence of breaking before it went into the Olympics. And even after it did, uh, they did little, to be, to be quite honest. Mm -hmm. And so how we ended up being part of this is because uh, a friend of mine called B-Boy Drift, uh, Joseph Omondi, mm -hmm. and I traveled to Morocco for the Africa Continental Championships. Mm -hmm. And this was made possible by another qualifier event that was organized by myself and B-Boy Victor here in Kenya. And so we, we sent out two people out to Morocco to qualify. And uh, we managed to, I managed to get 200 points from Morocco. Drift managed to get 157. And uh, the thing with the Olympic qualifiers was that it was a cumulative system. You were able to garner your points based on how many qualifier events around the world you could attend. And uh, to be quite honest, people in uh, Europe have had, uh, there's some countries in Europe which have had even more than four qualifiers. Six. More than six. <laughs> and then if you check the whole African region, which has... 54 countries mm -hmm. and a population of more than 1 billion people mm -hmm. has had only one qualifier, mm -hmm. only one. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it, 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 for me it has been, the, the whole process of qualification mm -hmm. has, has really left me in a state where, where, right now I've retired from breaking in a way. Mm -hmm. Now me and Victor have gone to the administrative side because we realize there is a very big gap. Come 2026 when the Youth Olympics come back, these mm -hmm. guys might miss the opportunity because of what happened to us. Mm -hmm. Government was not on board. Noko was not on board. Nobody was on board. It was just me, Victor, and the breaking community in Kenya trying to was, get the Was deal. this as a result of uh, too, many too many people who came forward to register the organization? No, particularly. Uh, I don't think there was, there is, in fact, there is no federation in Kenya. There is there's no, no federation in Kenya. So. Yeah, but mm. again, I think, just to speak of it, it's very evident from the scene who's doing what. So mm -hmm. even for registration, I think so far, so good. Uh, there are steps to it. Mm -hmm. Thanks to the French government, actually, uh, the French government has been supporting yes. this concluded mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. a 26 county tour, mm -hmm. uh, Jijo and I, mm -hmm. um, in, in um, the trajectory is actually to ensure that we have a structure mm -hmm. for the next Youth Olympics. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is how we're even getting support mm -hmm. to go to mm -hmm. France. Mm -hmm. Uh, Paris in August mm -hmm. to represent uh, Kenya. I'm not sure if it's Africa or uh -huh. Kenya uh -huh. because there are very few representatives uh -huh. from Africa. So yeah. we are very privileged. Yeah. In what capacity in. will you be representing Africa? Interesting. So now if, if we were to go at, uh, as athletes, it would limit us. But we're actually going as cultural operators, operators uh -huh. which means uh -huh. we have a word 
for Africa so we can speak for Africa. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And that's powerful, like you're yes. carrying the whole continent on your shoulders. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And that, what, what, what do you have? What are you going to uh, present? What kind of immediate or urgent yeah. issues does Africa have? No. I mean, we've talked about only one person yes. going to the breakers. Yeah. I mean, that's urgent, right? We that's need quite more slots. What else? Well, first of all, we've, uh, we've, we've been in communication with the, with the National Olympic Committee in France mm -hmm. to first of all have what we call an African station mm -hmm. in Paris. Mm -hmm. So the African station, what that will be, will be basically any breaker that will be in Paris mm -hmm. during the Paris 2024 Olympics. Mm -hmm. We will have a chance to sit down with the International Olympic Committee and the WDSF, which is the World Dance Sport Federation. And basically just have, you know, uh, uh, we look back on what happened in Africa, mm -hmm. you know, and also look into the future because... Uh, uh, the, the Youth Olympics is coming in Dakar, Senegal. Mm -hmm. uh, we had an unfortunate incident where only few countries were able to go to the Olympics in Paris. But the fact that it's coming to Africa, the Youth Olympics, means mm -hmm. if we put in the right strategies, then mm -hmm. we could have a very nice showdown in Africa mm -hmm. come 2026. Mm -hmm. And so what we are going to table uh, in Paris, mm -hmm. first of all, will be the possibility of having support from the International, Committee, International Olympic Committee for mm -hmm. capacity building. Mm -hmm. Because breaking is still... I, I, when you go to Nairobi, it's very famous. Mm -hmm. But when you go to the counties, it is not though. as much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is, that, is, that is why the need came for me and Victor to go to the counties mm -hmm. under the project that break my county, uh -huh. which is supported by the French Embassy. Nice one. Yes. Sean, uh, labda his support to you since we pick up your grade 2, you know what you're going to do? What do you think about train battles in Akam. Juni mengangana battle tatu ni mefika finals lakini sijai shinda. Sasa nangangana next battle ni shinde na inaona itanipeleka mbali. Na wewe kutoshinda ina wewe kushinda ama kutoshinda iko na maana gani hizo mbili? Ni sposhinda na kati ni kama na train lakini nikifika finals ni kama kila kitu nimepotea. Alafu nikishinda naona ni kama nilikuwa anga nimetrain lakini kila kitu ilikuwa anga nimeshapanga. Ah, nice one. Is that what you teach them? Uh, well, well uh, <laughs> uh, what I would say is um, I think first, first and foremost, the reason why we have him here, mm -hmm. I think uh, in Eastern and Central Africa, he is one of the best, under 16. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also represented our organization and Kenya mm -hmm. to Germany, Germany. Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So for us, this is a promising future. Mm -hmm. And it's not about winning for me, for the kids, because um, how we grew up mm -hmm. knowing how losing is, is like killing your esteem. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what we teach them actually mm -hmm. is that if you don't win, we don't call it losing. Mm -hmm. If we don't, if you don't win, mm -hmm. then it means you need to train yeah. better for the next battle. Mm -hmm. But if you win, mm -hmm. that means somebody else is training better mm -hmm. for the next battle. Yes. So you need to challenge yourself. Because everything is competitive. Your field is very yeah. competitive mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And so breaking is extremely competitive being an international yeah. mm -hmm. uh, game. Mm -hmm. And right now at the Olympics. So mm -hmm. that is what we want to really push. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to add on what Jijo had said, it's been very sacrificial. Before mm -hmm. Jijo came into the administrative, it was me mm -hmm. alone pushing it. We had a first generation that was really, uh, for me, I don't blame them, mm -hmm. but they helped me see the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. They didn't really look into the next generation. Yeah. And my fear for mm -hmm. this uh, country mm -hmm. is the next generation, mm -hmm. if I really pushed so yeah. hard, uh -huh. then the next generation should push a level higher than I left it. Yes. And so when I was beating this guy, because mm -hmm. he, after, after a while, he was like the best b-boy in mm -hmm. Eastern and Central Africa, mm -hmm. like the senior b-boy. But mm -hmm. I was like, this is good, but this is not the course. Yeah. You need to calm down, mm -hmm. drop this, mm -hmm. and let's start working on administration. Mm -hmm. And it's really worked for the country. Mm -hmm. It's not where we want it to be, but it's coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. And up, uh, to Jijo, how do you reinvent yourself? You know, how do you become creative? How yeah. do you evolve and how, how do you become the new you yeah. during you know, the particular moves or during the dance? Well, uh, I, I think it depends, first of all, with uh, how much you see. Uh, dance is a very visual, it's a very visual thing. You, what you see, it's, it's mostly what you see. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I, I, aside from breaking, I'm also a videographer, I'm an editor, and so I'm a very visual person. Mm -hmm. And so I'm constantly looking at different imagery to sort mm -hmm. of 
uh, uh, impact the way I think and mm -hmm. the way that I see stuff. Mm -hmm. Aside from this also, I will say also traveling. Traveling has been a big factor mm -hmm. in uh, uh, sh shaping me as a dancer also. Mm -hmm. I've been privileged to go all around East Africa, you know, for the first, I think, five years of my career. Mm -hmm. And then in the later years, for the last three years, I've also been able to go to the international platforms. I've been to France for the Battle Divo in France. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been there for Red Bull BC1 France. I've mm -hmm. been there. I've been to Taipei last year to represent Kenya. Mm -hmm. And this traveling also gives you a different mentality of how you break. Mm -hmm. And so when I came from Kenya the first time, at some point I thought I was the best. I thought I would be. I was the best break dancer. Mm -hmm. And then I went out to Uganda. I went out to Tanzania. I went out to Congo. Mm -hmm. And I realized there was even even better dancers than I was. And so I had to again shift the way I'm making my moves the way I'm you know creating yeah. and then after some point I was winning battles in East Africa mm -hmm. and this is how I ended up going to Taiwan and mm -hmm. then when I went there also you mm -hmm. get to see another level of you know of greatness also yeah and so I will say for any break dancer out there be it b-boy or big girl mm -hmm. there is various phases within which you can you, you know you can dictate how your creativity mm -hmm. you know how you can expand it mm -hmm. and so one of those will be traveling the second thing will be watch a lot of videos watch a lot of you know a lot of things mm -hmm. don't just watch breaking mm -hmm. uh, there's something I also say don't just watch breaking right. mm -hmm. Breaking is a, in, is a fusion of many things. There is Kung Fu in there. There is mm -hmm. acrobatics in there. Martial there is uh, martial arts in there. Mm -hmm. There is salsa in there. And so if you're a break dancer and you want to really reinvent yourself, try and watch as much as you can. Yes, uh, Sean, where do you inspire? Wakati una make my moves, zako, una panga vile uta fanya mambako kwa stage, ni you ku inspire wakati una jianda? Nina fanyanga, niki panga vitu. Mm -hmm. Kuna vitu na sema hii ni around one, hii ni around, yani adi finals. Uh -huh. Sasa around ya finals, karibu kisi ni kiendanga battle, unasau kila kitu. <laughs> battle gani ambayo ili come through vilo lukumepanga kutoka M paka Z. Yani ukaishindu wa adu unagoja geo siku tena urugie kama hiyo. Ni ilikuwa wapi na labda ilikumeo kafila aje. Mm, 2023 battle, uh -huh. ni kwanga ni mejipanga vizuri. Sasa finals mkuna mtu mfubwa wali mleta, sasa itakanga. Hakuwa age category yako? Yes. Halikuanga mkubwa sari, sasa. Nkasema tu, hata kiniki mshinda, na fry, jindaona ni mera next level. Na nini, nandakuwa na train sasa vizuri. Niki train, na niendelea kufanya warm up. Kila uh -huh. kitu. Uh -huh. Na hile ulishinda, hile ambao ulishinda na, na ni uneza ikumbuka mpaka leo? Nilishinda 2022. Uh -huh. 2022, yon tulikuanga ni, uh -huh. tulikuanga tu na train. Uh -huh. Sasa, yon bato lilikuja, wakuna watu likuanga wana cheza, wengmina kumina indelea tuku train. Sasa yon bato lililetu waka watu wa yuko ni. Ready. Ready vizuri. Oka pita nao. Sasa ni mimi nika fita nao. Ndiyo nika shinda yo battle. Sasa hizo battle 2023 nika endelea. Nika endelea tukufika finals. Na tolewa finals. Na tolewa disai. And also, Victor, maybe between, we know that now it's an Olympic sport, but basically kuna you know, very, it's a style, so kuna various elements, various mm, aspects. Yes, so najua, mm. ka top rock, yes. uh, and a, as well as freeze, I think. Right. I can only do freeze. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but now, what, what's at the Olympics and what are really the demands? I'm really impressed, the information yeah, yeah. about <laughs> breaking. It's yeah. really intriguing, actually. Mm, mm. And it makes me actually feel good about um, doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so at the Olympics, I think what you expect, it's really... Um, Siyezi kwa black and white about it. Kwa sababu, I think, tukiangalia panel as well, it's a bit tricky to know what they expect. And considering it's... Uh, the first time yes. at yes. the Olympics. Yes. Yes. So there is so much anticipation to it. And mm -hmm. as a, um, a cultural uh, operator, yeah. operator. Ambassador, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm really interested to see mm -hmm. what's going to be there. Uh, what my friends and uh, the world champion mm -hmm. from the Netherlands, mm -hmm. I, I hope he's qualified. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think he I believe is, yeah. he's qualified. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been here, by the way, so mm -hmm. many times. Next we, time we need to bring him he's here. He's coming for the festival. We have Olympic Village yes. in, in December. Uh, in December. Yeah. Make yeah. sure yeah. you guys will come. <laughs> we'll bring him. <laughs> 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 we'll make sure no, you. 
you <laughs> we will make sure yeah, we will then bring maybe him. he yeah, can also yeah, tag along yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. and uh, and uh, so it's a bit tricky because he's one of the people that has um he's really demystified your form your movement in your mm -hmm. like he's brought a very different mm -hmm. perspective but there's also a new generation yes. that's fire mm -hmm. so it's very hard to tell like if me and him were on a battle mm -hmm. it would be very hard to judge because he brings a very different dimension and mm -hmm. what I bring. Mm -hmm. And so if it's going to be yeah. a judge of, a judges of say nine or ten, yeah. then it's very hard to predict mm -hmm. what every judge expects. Yeah. 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 And, and maybe would, the, would it be fair to ask what's your like best of, of, of the styles in, in, in breaking? I'm a, I'm a believer yeah. of grounding, so I'm a top rocker, down rocker. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is for me foundation. And also, uh, me and him have been yeah. really exploring. Kwasababu, they say breaking is from the Bronx. Uh -huh. But we have yeah. Akab showing that breaking is from Africa. Africa, Juba yes. dance. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> 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 <That's a nice laughs> <guy. laughs> I like um, this guy. <laughs> but, but again, so that is what we are championing for. We, me and him have been coming up with moves from the Maasai. The Luya, if you look at our top rock oh, down road. Oh, I'd yeah. like to see that. <laughs> yeah, we mm -hmm. try and bring in this to show people that this is our thing. Mm -hmm. uh, just yeah, the fact that they documented mm -hmm. it before mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. and said it's from the Bronx. This is something we've had. Yeah. Ah, dance is African, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are all clips of Fela, oh, Fela's there is, videos. There is. You know, people breaking. You got it. Also <laughs> coming, from, <laughs> coming from James Brown as well, right? Yeah, Who yeah. used to break and all that. Yeah. But it's beautiful. I mean... Um, we look at uh, Sean. Sean sasa we unataka, you know, uh, Victor and G George here are really working hard for you. Ku tengeneza njia. When you get there, it's flying. We unataka ufike wapi sasa? Nataka nifike baliadi ndafunza watoto wengine. Ndo endele kufunza watoto wenye wenye na kuja mm -hmm. next. Mm -hmm. Sasa nataka niendele kutrain. Mm -hmm. Na pia ni mu. Watu tunafunzwa na au pia natamani pia au endele wakueka mimi to train na au tufunzwa toto wengine na tuendele hivyo hivyo. Na labda mtani unona watu hivyo sport jiusisha na sport kuna uzuri ama kuna ubaye? Wa sport jiunga itakuwa tu nisawa lakini itapasa sasa vizuri. Unataka watu wengi siyo? Na labda we... Victor just mentioned ulikuwa German, isiyo? Experiences zako huko zime kusaidiaje kuwa better kwa, kwa mambo yako? Menifanya na experience vitu, vitu ngumu na vitu raisi. Yeah. Na pia una, inakufanya usikwe, usinini. Upia, upia watu pia chances za kutravel. Mm -hmm. Una nini? time zao tu za ku travel na unafai kuendelea tu train na uh -huh. na kuendelea ku kuwa better sio yes hapo sawa Sean is the youngest big yes. boy uh -huh. and also uh, Victor Jijo i hear speaking about big boy you know it's an olympic sport so Kenyans better know about it just like you know about cricket and fencing yeah. <laughs> but anyway uh, Last word, you know, you talked about a course that you yes. have, right? Yes. That in the dance. Yes. How powerful is that course and where do you want to get it to? Yeah, I think, first of all, this came up uh, when, when breaking was announced in the Olympics and there was different qualifi uh, qualifier series going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the African qualifier came, you know, there was really uh, little done to mm -hmm. sort of facilitate African countries to get mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And so I got on my social media mm -hmm. and I spoke about the situation in Africa and mm -hmm. how it was very difficult for African break dancers to, first of all, pay flights, mm -hmm. uh, travel travel to Morocco, like this is something that has never happened before, first of all, mm -hmm. and without government support, it was quite impossible. Yes. And so what this inspired, first of all, was a generation of breakers within the continent mm -hmm. who are ready to put up some money yes. for themselves to go and qualify. Mm -hmm. And also it inspired a rule change from the WDSF that enabled countries like mm -hmm. Kenya that mm -hmm. do not have a federation to actually compete. Mm -hmm. So this was a big, for me, this was a big move because we will not be having this conversation if we had not had that conversation. Yes. Africa would have been in a very bad place. Mm -hmm. At the moment, we have, I think, one, one mm -hmm. qualified b-boy from Africa who is going to represent mm -hmm. the one who won in Morocco. Mm -hmm. We also have on the Olympic qualifier series that just kicked off in, mm -hmm. uh, in Shanghai, mm -hmm. we also have a couple of African b-boys and a couple of b-girls. Mm -hmm. So Africa is still, we're still in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think aside from that, uh, I, I mentioned my, uh, my outfit called King of the Street, which yes. I co-found with b-boy drift. Mm -hmm. It's also a social 
social it's a social okay. project mm -hmm. it's something that we're trying to do we do community outreach programs we use break dancing to impact various communities within mm -hmm. pumwani majengo there's a community in makungeni and there's another community in umoja mm -hmm. and this is just what uh, 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 the young the, the young bravin was talking about and it's actually crazy that he starts to see this at his age i started to see this when i was very mm -hmm. old mm -hmm. the fact that there is a need to constantly capacity build mm -hmm. the fact that there is a need to constantly uh, pass on what you go, what you learn to the next generation. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot of what I know now from B-Boy Victor. Mm -hmm. I am now part of the, the people trying to also teach other people. Mm -hmm. And when you hear what he's saying, what his dream is, is to also get to where we are. And mm -hmm. maybe not even get here, mm -hmm. maybe he even wants to start now, yeah. to start showing what he have to the next generation of, of dancers as yeah. well. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is something that is very big. It's something that is very powerful. Mm -hmm. Break dancing, when you see people dancing, it looks very funny, but it's mm -hmm. a very powerful tool mm -hmm. uh, to fight things such as gender uh, in a quality mm -hmm. to fight things such as terrorism mm -hmm. to fight things such as, such as drug abuse mm -hmm. you know and this is just the, the tip social of the iceberg. yes there's, yeah. so, there's a social side to it mm -hmm. and then there's the sport side of mm -hmm. it and so you know i will urge all kenyans you know uh, people within organizations such as nakada you know, this is the time. This is the time to come and board and use this tool called breaking mm -hmm. to impact the society. And as embrace well. you guys, right? Yes. And maybe, um, Victor, am I, am, I, am I fair with my generalization that there is a, a not so fair representation of women in the sport? We expected a big girl, but she's not yes. part of the team. Yeah. Tell me about how you're incorporating ladies into the sport. Yes, yeah, so in my project, we do something called SWOT, SWOT mm -hmm. analysis, uh, which... Um, um, has a check on our strengths, mm -hmm. um, weaknesses, yes. opportunities, and threats. And one of mm -hmm. our threats, unfortunately, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. government policies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, like today, uh, it's a Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, it's high time. Mm -hmm. You see, like you acknowledge and really have come to a realization how powerful is this. Um, we are a culture that believes in uh, brainwash. And so we've been told uh, education is the key to the success. Uh, <laughs> Victor here is a dancer, a dance movement therapy who pursued dance. Um, I'm not one of the billionaires, but one of the most traveled African dancers, uh, earning a living and living very comfortably from it. Yeah. But we had big girl Julie who's stuck in school. Mm -hmm. We've been waiting for the mm -hmm. past two hours mm -hmm. for her to be released. Mm -hmm. Schools were supposed to end by 12. Mm -hmm. But I think the head teacher, I don't know if it's the head teacher of the class, they deliberately mm -hmm. hold sign in yeah. school. And that tells you that you have to keep on. It's, you, it's a struggle. You right? understand. Mm -hmm. And also, I think uh, girls generally, in, in Europe and in America, it's vice versa. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, the girls are more interested into mm -hmm. this, but our girls have been pushed to believe. Mm -hmm. And it's also a culture mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So you are very fair to say that girls mm -hmm. are not, uh, mm -hmm. women are not very involved well, in this. Mm -hmm. But we just had, we just, we just traveled 26 counties mm -hmm. and yes. we got, girls that were really good and yeah. been interested mm -hmm. but nobody was there for them thanks to the french government and french embassy yes. Yes. in collaboration yes. with king of the street and yes. slam dance africa yes. for doing this and so we've been able to through that we've been able to analyze and mm -hmm. realize that girls are interested yes. Yes. nobody's just there yes. to right. wish we could have a longer conversation <laughs> but i'm sure we will continue having yeah. conversation so with the top breakers in the country, Olympic dreamers as well. Sean is the future, yeah. and he's been on set to expressing his thoughts and also his dreams when it comes uh, to this particular sport and how important yeah. and crucial it is to his um, life, so to say. Thank you so much, George and Jijo and, and Victor, yeah. right? Yes. And Sean, Asante Nisana, Kwa Kuja, yeah. you. And we hope that we'll see you next time and wish you all the best in Thank your you upcoming event. Yeah. Asante Sana. Wish we could have a DJ here with some breaks. You know, breaks, <laughs> <laughs> or for drums, yeah. right? Yeah. By all the same. Thank you. Music. Break, 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 break <laughs> for us yeah. as we wind up. Yeah, oh, yeah just up, untag up, that. Yeah, yeah. Just from behind, yeah. 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 As we wind up, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think just before, just before he goes on, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Break my county. Yeah. There's a project going around yeah. the country. Coming up when? Where's the next one? Break, break, break for us, Sean, in the meantime. We are going around. It's so good. It's so months. good. Don't worry about yeah. the t-shirt. Come. Kujo, Kujo. Kujo. Turn the cards. Up, 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 up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo, yeah. boy. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Yo, Jiju. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Ooh.
Oh! Jijo, <laughs> 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 thank you so much. Let's see you on the fan zone up next. But these are the breakers. Watch, well, check out. The news will be on KBC as well as on Y254 on their next event. Yo, yeah. don't miss out, Mazi. Santeni Sana. Thank you very Yo, much. Yo, big up, big yeah, up. Thank you very much. <laughs>